Hey folks, Dan Freer here with Your Mortgage Minute, where we talk everything real estate, especially when it comes to the financing pieces of the puzzle. So today we're gonna to talk the Fed, okay? Why the Fed? Well, the Fed's in all the news. The Fed did this and the stock market's crashing. The Fed did this and housing prices are way up. The Fed did this and mortgage rates are, are climbing. So let's really dis dissect what's the Fed, what's their purpose? And then we're gonna dissect some numbers today that the mainstream media has a little deceptive and I can see it, I uh, see why it's to, attract your attention. We're going to dig into those numbers to show you where inflation numbers came out today. So let's get over to the news. First thing I want to explain to you guys is what's the Federal Reserve's dual mandate? Basically, they have two reasons why they were created. One is to create maximum employment and the other one's price stability. Okay. Price stability is a basically AKA inflation. Okay. Maximum employment basically is what they try to do is keep everything in check, supply, demand to have maximum employment without inflation running out of, ramp, out, of, out, of the, out of this world. So let's get over to how they're doing and what's in the headlines. So today we had the PCE number. It's the inflation number that the Federal Reserve really likes and they really monitor. Well, if you read this headline right here, Fed's preferred inflation measures rose 4.7 in May. Stop there. And then it says around multi-decade highs, around. So are they at, have they peaked over? The around one caused a little concern for me because I'm like, well, how's it around? Okay, I'll get to that in one second. That second is right here. What were the actual numbers that we expected? Where were we coming from in previous readings on this PCE, this inflation number? Well, let's go through right here. This is the economic calendar for today. I expanded it to, to include more things uh, so we can explain some of this stuff in more detail to you. But the core PCE, this is what they watch. Month over month, the previous reading was 0.3. The expectations were for 0.4 increase month over month from the previous month. It came in at 0.3. Okay, so that's less than expected and equal to where we were. All right. Okay, I'll take that. It's flat. Then we go year over year. The number that everybody's saying this is astronomical. Well, we're coming off a 4.9 increase. The expectations were 4.8 coming down. It came in at 4.7. So it came in lower than expected. So how in the world did this headline, now the headline makes sense. Fed's preferred inflation measure rose 4.7 in May around decade highs. Okay, so now I get that. What's causing a lot of this is the consumers, us. We keep buying and buying and buying. Okay, even with prices going up, we continue to buy. This is from the Federal Reserve, personal consumption expenditure. This goes all the way out to basically zero, but let's tar target into five. You can see right through here, this is the average. So if you go through here and you just run it up, it's not as bad as it looks. This is diabolical right through here. Well, what happened? Well, nobody was spending. What they were doing is saving their money. This is the uh, basically the disposable personal income. How much money you have, the consumer has in disposable income. How much extra income they have each month. When you go through here, look at this spike. Huge spikes that basically conform to this. Okay, so what was happening? Well, nobody was working. Nobody was spending. So what are you doing? Sitting there saving your money. Well, now we're trying to play catch up. We have all this money and it's like, oh, we need to just keep buying stuff. That's what's happening. And that's, that's what's happened over the last six, eight months, but it's starting to cool down. So on top of that, we have the Russian Ukraine situation that's driving up oil and driving up other prices, especially food prices and a whole bunch of other things that just weren't baked into the cards. So we're starting to see inflation starting to get moderate. The Federal Reserve already said the next meeting they're going to come in and they're going to raise rates another 75 basis points. So that's also going to the markets are comfortable with that. They're saying, OK, inflation's starting to come in check. The Federal Reserve has their ducks in a row. We know what's going on. So you're starting to see the market stabilizing other than the stock market. Uh, here's what we're seeing right now with the mortgage-backed securities market. So let's get on to that. And the mortgage-backed securities market, why do I watch this? Well, this is a bond. Basically, think of this as a mortgage bond. It's trading on Wall Street. This is what's happening to the price. So the first thing you're going to say is, okay, well, what's this tell me? Well, the, it tells you as the price of the bond goes up, when the price of a bond goes up, it drives down the yield, meaning the more you pay for a bond, the lower the rate. 
or the rate or the yield or your mortgage rate. Let me explain it this way. And I do this probably once a month. We have a bond, this mortgage-backed security bond. And in a year, the coupon value of that bond is $100. Okay, so in, 100, in, in next year, when I turn in my coupon to you, you're gonna give me 100 bucks back, okay? So let's start out at a high price, okay? So the price of that bond is 100 bucks. I give you 100 bucks today. So then a year from now, you give me my $100 back because that's the coupon of that bond. What was my rate of return? What was my yield? Zero, because I gave you 100 and you gave me 100 back, okay? So now let's drive down the price so I can make this point clear. So now I give you $50 for that bond, okay? A year from now, I give you my coupon and you give me $100 back. What's my yield? 100%, I doubled my money. So do you see how the yield goes up when the price comes down? Okay, so that's how all this works and that's why we watch this. So as this, com this is coming down, mortgage rates are getting a little bit better. Also, you can see the trend of the day is positive down in this range here. It's because we're having good news, but the mainstream media isn't representing it that way. Then we go over to mortgage rates. This is a mortgage rate sheet by Mortgage News Daily. It's not me, it's not any particular bank. It's just a, a it's, it's an easy way for me to explain to you guys what's going on with the rates. Yes, here's mortgage rates, here's what they post. This is a national average, but the biggest thing I want you to do is look at the changes from the previous day. So that's why we need you to watch every day so you can see where we were yesterday and the day before and so forth and where things are going, okay? So that's where you can see, that's why I show this report every day to show you where rates are on a national average and the, to the, the change that they had from the previous day, okay? So these are where rates are, um, and that's what we do. So the next thing is, if you need any help. So what I ask you to do is, my name is Dan Free. I do the Mortgage uh, Minute every morning to inform you guys everything real estate, and we emphasize on the financing piece of this puzzle. So if you're in the process of building a house and your builder's lender is saying, can't lock you in until right before closing, and you're freaking out, call us. If you're looking to buy a house and you haven't found one yet, but everybody's telling you you can't lock in a rate now and you keep seeing them going up and up and up and you're like, oh man, can I find a house in time before rates hit 100? Call us. We can lock you in, get you pre-approved today and lock you in. If you're looking for a reverse mortgage, debt consolidation, anything of that sort, please reach out to us. We'd love to help. All our information is above. We are My, net, my team now is federally chartered, meaning we can help anybody in the United States also Puerto Rico. So we'd love to hear from you. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to join us tonight at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, my live event. We're going to talk with a realtor, uh, Summer. She's out in Boise, Idaho. And we're going to talk to her about how's the Boise market going. But before we have her on, we're going to talk economics, the housing market, and I'm going to answer any questions that you have. So look forward to seeing you at 7 o'clock tonight. God bless. Have a great day. See you soon. Bye-bye.